I feel like in the last couple weeks, overall, the Maple Story 2 community has really learned a lot more about the game. And I'm not necessarily talking about one or two people in particular, I'm just talking about the general community. People have started to realize that certain things in the game really give a massive boost to your character's effectiveness. A great example of this is recently pets. People have started to realize that pets give you a massive hidden bonus to your character's attack because you actually get a percentage of your pet's bonus attack added to your own character as well. And it turns out that if you have a high level epic pet, this can increase your character's overall damage between 20 to 30%. Well, there's actually a few of these different things in the game where you just get a massive DPS boost once you realize how powerful it truly is. I wanted to talk about one of them today in particular and something you definitely want to be doing every single week that is going to help you along with this. Now, another massive DPS increase in the game is going to be gems and gemstones. Now, while I've talked about gems and gemstones before in the past, I'm not really going to go into too much detail on the whole gems and gemstone system. I really wanted to just make this video mostly as a reminder and a tip to tell you guys that you absolutely want to be making sure to be buying these every single week. So if you go to Tria, you'll see right here, you want to end up buying these stellar glass every single week. Now, there's going to be a limit of five of them that you can end up buying every single week. As you can see, we are at the start of the week at the time of me making this video and they cost 200,000 mesos each which means you should set aside 1 million mesos a week in order to end up buying these stellar glass now this is really important because these are very very powerful when it comes to materials for upgrading your gems what these do is in combination with 10 obsidian essences you can actually end up going to this stellar chest right next to the vendor and you'll see if you want to end up creating one of these gem dust chests you're going to need one of those stellar glass and 10 obsidian essences but the gem dust chest that you end up getting from this is actually very powerful because most gem dusts in the game are just going to end up giving you random gem dusts. However, the gem dust that you get from the stellar glass is going to give you the selection. You get to actually choose which color gem dust that you want. Now, you might be thinking, well, I already have a lot of gem dust. If you take a look at my inventory, you'll see I have quite a few of them. You're definitely going to want to stock up. And while a million mesos sounds like a lot, it really isn't that much compared to the benefit of having an extra 1,000 gem dust of whatever color that you want. You don't even necessarily have to end up opening the chests right now if you don't want to. You can keep them in your inventory. That's totally fine. But this is kind of one of those things that you just want to be doing every single week. And while it might not necessarily seem very important right at the moment, Moment, especially depending on where you're at with your character's progress it's something you're going to be really happy that you did later on when you want all these gem dust so definitely add this to your list of things to do it's going to be very very important and gems give you a massive benefit you'll see unfortunately there's a lot of rng elements when it comes to the whole gems and gemstone process because there's going to be rng when it comes to upgrading your gems there's going to be rng when it comes to unlocking sockets you can, of course, upgrade the gems when they're socketed in gear, so you don't have to worry about spending mesos to remove gems just to upgrade them. But still, there's a lot of RNG aspects, so it's definitely going to be a time-gated progression system. But still, nonetheless, you'll be very happy that you have been ending, ended up buying all of those stellar glass and getting these gem chests every single week. So definitely something else to work on for your character. It's going to give you a massive DPS boost. Hopefully this helped out, and uh, hopefully you guys are seeing some goals being reached with your character's progression as you guys are starting to learn more and more about the game. So with that being said, that's going to be it for this video. A bit of a shorter one, but I really just wanted to tell you guys about this little tip and making sure to be buying those stellar glass every single week. If you guys enjoyed this video and this tip, consider leaving a like. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. And with that all being said, of course, don't forget, we're getting a little bit past the halfway point in November, so still about two weeks to go. But if you are interested in the November giveaway, plenty of different ways to enter. Link in the description, the two easiest of which be a subscriber to the channel for two tickets and leave a like on the video for a bonus ticket. It's going to be for a $50 Nexon NX or $50 Steam gift card. Good luck to those of you entering that. And with that all being said, if you guys missed out on a few videos on the channel, they should be popping up right now. If not, until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.